Well, when we talk about human evolution, we normally think of Darwin. I think uh, Charles Darwin has become synonymous with the, the term evolution. Now, theosophy does a little bit differently. Um, theosophy postulates that there are three schemes of human evolution and uh, that these three schemes run concurrently. Um, we have monadic, uh, the intellectual and the physical. And uh, I'll start with the monadic. Um, Okay, the evolution, the monadic evolution, the evolution of the monad, the individual spiritual entity, it's really our spiritual, inter spiritual evolution. Um, this has evolved through the lower kingdoms, uh, the mineral, uh, well, the elemental mineral um, plant and animal kingdoms, uh, is now in the human kingdom and will continue to evolve beyond the human kingdom to higher beings. Um, incidentally, um, all um, religions as far as I know, seem to have some form of higher being. Um, it turns up as um, archangels um, in, and angels in Christianity and Diane Shohans in Hinduism. Seems to be there in, in most traditions. Um, now, the monad has no form and it takes a physical body in a current phase of evolution uh, in order to gain experience um, and develop itself. So the, the physical body is really an ancillary to the, uh, to the monad's evolution, but I'll come to physical evolution in a minute. Um, intellectual evolution, manus, the mind principle. Now, we have mind and self-awareness. In fact, we're, we're aware of our own existence, uh, we're aware of our own existence within the cosmos. Um, some people say that actually that in a way makes the universe aware of its own existence, but uh, that, that, we'll leave that aside for the time being. Um, the mind principle um, gives us some control over our evolution, so we can look at how we evolve, and in fact ultimately uh, we, we, could, we could actually wipe ourselves out. So we, we've, got, we've acquired that much control, and that's been given to us by the mind principle that uh, we've developed. Um, in the animal kingdom, now animals ha have some intelligence and often it's observable in animals that there's you know, intelligent behaviour, but they certainly don't have the self-awareness that you'll find in humans. Um, although some people do actually disagree with that, but certainly uh, that's something that we seem to have. At the, now we have acquired in, in um, our current phase of development that it is, it is not there in the animal kingdom. Um, physical evolution. Now, um, we'll go mention Darwin again. Adaptation and natural selection is a component of this, but um, as far as theosophy is concerned, the driving force uh, behind physical evolution is a life wave that causes changes in form that facilitate spiritual development. It's purely an ancillary, really, of the monad in our current human phase of evolution. Now, eventually, um, the monad will decide that we, we don't actually need the physical form anymore. That it, will have, it will have served its purpose and we will have um, evolved beyond the human stage of evolution, what we call the, the ladder of life, and we'll become what we, we would term higher, now term higher beings. And those uh, kingdoms, uh, beings in the kingdoms lower than us on the ladder of life would, would move up. Uh, but um, don't hold your breath on that one, that uh, we're talking about immense periods of time. But um, ultimately, um, the physical evolution is, is transitory and we, we will evolve beyond it.